Welcome everyone to It Tastes Different Gaming Appetizers. And tonight, Facebook is shutting something down that I'm sure a lot of us didn't remember was even out there. So basically, on October the 28th of 2022, the Facebook gaming app for iOS and Android will no longer be available. Um, and if you're like me, I forgot all about that it even existed. Um, it's uh, something I never really used myself. Um, I don't know if Nick has ever used it, but we'll kind of get to that. Um, it's basically, from what I understand, for streamers to use. where You can watch streamers just like you can with Twitch and YouTube and this Facebook gaming app. Um, it's, uh, it's something I forgot about completely, to be honest with you. Um, and really, I, I'm not too familiar with what it was besides that it was just an app for streamers and people who wanted to watch streamers connect. Um, but basically meta, I should call it, uh, meta came out with an announcement and said, there's an update coming to the Facebook gaming app. Um, uh, after the date of October 28th, this app will no longer work. You can download your gaming app search data at a location that they got a link to on their little, um, uh, release they put out. And they basically said, we want to extend our heartfelt thanks to all of you for everything you've done to build a thriving community for gamers and fans since the app first launched. This was a truly, this was truly a community led effort to bring new gaming features to Facebook. Despite this news, our mission to connect players, fans, creators with the games they love hasn't changed. And you'll still be able to find your games and streamers and groups when you visit the game, when you visit gaming in the Facebook app. So it's not going to have its own app. It's just going to be built into the Facebook app. I don't know what that means that you're going to lose, uh, what function or features you're going to lose, because it doesn't sound like they're really getting out of the 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 game streaming service at all. Um, so, you know, I don't know what you're really losing besides its own dedicated app. You know, that might be something for some of our listeners out there. If you use this, kind of tell us what you use it for. Is it just for streaming, for viewing streamers? What are you using the app for? From my understanding is, is it just really wasn't a... a a very capitalizing venture for them. Um, you know, when we talk about game streaming, it's basically Twitch. I mean, no matter how you extend it, yes, YouTube has some streaming stuff for gaming, but it's Twitch. It's a Twitch market. No matter how you want to look at it, uh, Twitch owns like 76 to 77% of the market in, in video game streaming. That's, that's the truth of the matter. Uh, YouTube has like 15 to 16% of that, of what's left. So it, it, YouTube, very small fry, very small fry in that. And then Facebook gaming was seven to 8% of that. That's nothing. Um, that, that That's basically about half what Google had. Google doesn't even have half of what's available out there. So Twitch owns the majority of it, you know, and Twitch has made changes to really kind of which it seems kind of weird that they did, but you know, Twitch used to say you can only exclusively stream on our service. They stopped doing that. So you can stream wherever you want, multi-platforms, whatever, which doesn't seem to have hurt them. Uh, YouTube and Facebook both tried to allure to, to lure away uh, very popular streamers uh, with no luck. Cause the ones that they actually did manage to pull away didn't meant, didn't really put a, that big of a dent in Twitch's uh, streaming numbers. So, you know, it's, it sounds like no news, really, if you listen to that, that the stuff is still going to be there under the Facebook app, but I don't use the other app. So what are you losing? What is going away? Is it just the app where they moved all the features to the new app? Or are there some features and functions that are basically going to disappear? Um, Nick, what do you think, man? Have you been using the uh, Facebook gaming app? Nope. Didn't know it existed. Didn't know they had a separate app for it. Um, I mean, I have Facebook and I have the Facebook app, but I didn't know they have a Facebook gaming app. So this is news to me. I know they had the <clears throat> streaming portion to Facebook. Uh, I just didn't know it had its own app for that. Right. Um, so, yeah, it just sounds like they're putting it in there, just intertwining it with the Facebook uh, application itself, which is fine. I mean, yeah, Twitch owns the market right on streaming. so. Uh, the Facebook, I guess it makes sense for them to get rid of the gaming app in general, right? You said they had like seven to eight percent of the market share, which is nothing, like you said. So, um, you know, I it it doesn't make it, you know it doesn't make sense for them to have this dedicated app for that and make updates to the app or anything like that to to have all these features outside of just 
Facebook itself, right, to create this side content for the gaming portion because clearly it's not working for them. Just like with YouTube, it's not really working with them when they, you know, snatched up Twitch streamers and tried to bring them into the the system. You know, Microsoft did the same thing. You know, they had that um, their streaming app for a while there. I can't remember the name of it. And they they also snatched up some stars to come over to it, and it didn't really help. You know, Twitch is just. Twitch has just kind of cemented itself into the streaming uh, market uh, for online gamer, online streamers, you know, uh, in that market. And it's, uh, you know, they must, I, I've been on Twitch. I've watched some people on Twitch and we've done some stuff on Twitch, but um, you know, I think that Twitch clearly has a robust um, interface and features that others just can't compare or compete with. Right. Plus, everybody knows that Twit about Twitch, right? If you talk about a streaming service, you know the first thing that's going to come to people's mind is Twitch. Um, they're not going to be like, "Oh, you mean YouTube streaming?" or "Oh, you mean Facebook streaming?" You know, that's not really half the people don't know that they exist, right? Um, and if they do know that they exist, they don't. They typically, you know, most people just watch Twitch if they're going to watch somebody stream live stream. So. You know, and that's where most people go to because it is the well-known uh, platform, right? It's the known platform for that type of stuff. So it makes sense for Facebook to get rid of the gaming app. You know, they're not getting rid of the streaming service altogether. It's just going into the Facebook app itself within their gaming section uh, so that everything's getting moved over to there. But yeah, it, it uh, you know, what features are they going to lose? I'm not sure if they're going to lose anything. I, I would assume that Facebook did this just to have a separate app for those people that wanted to kind of center around the whole streaming aspect without having the Facebook portion along with it, right? The whole, because, you know, Facebook has several different sections. You know, you have the Facebook marketplace and you have the Facebook gaming section and you have the, you know, you have a whole bunch of different categories that Facebook has. And so I think the gaming app was probably just built for them to be able to use the gaming portion without any of the other fluff. Right. And when they probably found that they have such a low percentage and it really wasn't a, a point to keep this app up and keep it up to date and keep updating it and, and, you know, keeping it going, then it might just be easier just to mix it in with Facebook because let them deal with the fluff. There's only 7% of people using it, right. They can deal with it. They'll be fine. So let's just get rid of it. I think that's pretty much ultimately what it was, you know, but no one can, no one can rival Twitch, you know? I mean, Twitch has been the top dog. People have tried and people have failed. So. Yep. I forgot about Mixer. <laughs> I had to yep. look it up. I forgot the name of it. I'm like, what is that? What was that? It was Mixer and, and Mixer. Yeah. They even, they even like pulled Ninja away and and into their service and they still couldn't you know and he's a was was and still is a very popular streamer um you know so it's uh it you I don't know what but Twitch is uh makes it easy uh for gamers I guess to stream and um nobody seems to be able to pull away the numbers from Twitch you know YouTube's got about the biggest gain on them and their gain is really not a gain when you consider they don't even have a quarter of the market share at that point at 15 to 16%, you know, and then with, um, with Facebook gaming, basically shoving theirs into the background of their current app, you know, they'll probably lose a little bit market share to who knows where, maybe Twitch will just swallow up the rest of those numbers or, or, or some new dog will come out, you know, who knows, um, you know, Twitch itself is its own beast. I mean, um, Twitch has made some really horrible moves in the past with its streamers and caused lots of controversy, but it's still super popular. I mean, um, you know, I, uh, you know, they ban people, they ban some of their top streamers with no indication why and nobody, and they don't feel compelled to tell anybody why they're just like, you're banned and bye bye. Even they're even because even if they're popular, they don't care. So it's not hurt them. Whatever they're doing, somehow they've got their claws in the gaming world, and people just go to them exclusively for streaming. Which, um, just to be honest with everybody, I don't fully understand the game streaming thing because I I have a million things better to do than to watch somebody else play a video game. Like play that video game myself. You know, if I want to watch somebody play it, I want to play it. Is so I'm gonna play it. Um. 
So I'm not, I don't understand that. I, I'm not a big fan of that type of stuff, but it's big enough in there that there's industries behind this. Um, Facebook is trying to get into there, but they're not really, they're not really making it. Uh, YouTube is trying to get in there and they're not really making it, but Twitch is holding strong. And and like I said, I had completely forgot about Mixer until Nick had brought it. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that. We used to watch streaming stuff on that app when we were on the Xbox and now there is no like streaming. You don't watch streaming on the Xbox. They don't really have, they don't really have an ease way. I guess, can you install Twitch they, on the Xbox now, right? They, they yeah, and you, they integrate with Twitch as well. So you can stream yeah. from the Xbox straight to Twitch and then you can also download the Twitch app on the Xbox right. and watch twitch right there so you know mixer was their thing that really didn't take off they bought that and lost their ass on that when they bought it from beam i think i think it's it's beam yeah i think it may have been beam who owned that uh but uh but yeah so it's uh it's it's interesting to say the least uh that this was out there uh those seven to eight percent of people who are using it is there a reason why you're not on twitch or Maybe you're on all three of platforms and that just happens to be they happen to be just some of the few people who are just on that one as well, you know, uh, because now that Twitch allows multi-platform streaming, you can sh- it to their to some to their people. You can stream on all of them, stream to Xbox or not Xbox, but stream to YouTube, Twitch and Facebook gaming. You can uh, multicast all of them if you wanted to. Um, and maybe there's only six, seven, eight percent of people who do it. But I honestly and out of anything, I'm not a huge fan of Twitch. So I, because like I said, I don't watch a lot of live streaming. Uh, I remember the first time I heard about Twitch was when somebody was talking about them banning hot tub streamers. And I'm like, what the hell is a hot tub streamer? And then I saw what it was and I'm like, okay, that's why people are interested in that because it's not about gaming, you know? And and then I'm like, okay, whatever. Cool. Um, and you know, in Mixer, the only time I ever used Mixer was when we were watching like the video game awards or some game awards that were on mixer and everybody's chatting about it and talking about it. Uh, and YouTube, ga- YouTube gaming for streaming. I'm like, okay, that's usually where I would go to if I was interested in buying a game, but I was on the fence, but I really didn't watch somebody play it. I went and downloaded a let's play or went and searched YouTube for a let's play video. Be like, I really want to play this, but I want to see some gameplay. Uh, so I'm not really one of these people who watches people play video games for hours on end, but I know plenty of my friends who do. Um, sitting at their desk doing something and they've got a game streamer on the other monitor. And I'm like, I'm like, how, you know, what are you doing? But that's just me. I know there's appeal out there, but it's just not for me. Nick, what about you? Are you big? Are you big into watching people play games like streaming games and stuff like that? Or, you, you know, what do you do when you want to see gameplay footage? Um, I don't watch Twitch. Um, I, yeah, I know Twitch. I've gone on Twitch a few times. Um, but, you know, I, I don't sit there and, and watch somebody play a game on Twitch, but um, I do watch Twitch streamers. Um, some I have a couple of Twitch streamers that I like to watch their content, uh, typically when they put it over to YouTube. So most of them will record their I mean, their their stuff gets recorded, um, but they'll take those recordings and they'll put them onto a YouTube channel that they have over there. And so that's where I typically watch it. Um, so, yeah, I do watch them play a game or something like that. Uh, it's not typically a game. Usually most of the games I watch them play are not typically games that I want to play. They're usually games that look interesting, but it's probably not something I would ever pick up. Uh, and usually I have them uh, much like your friends, right? Uh, I usually have them on playing or, or I'm watching that YouTube video on my phone while I'm playing a game on the Xbox or something like that or, or PlayStation or something. Um, it's just kind of background noise. And sometimes I'll do watch them, but if I do sit there and watch them play something, um, it's usually like when I go to bed at night and I'm like laying in bed and just kind of waiting to get to the point of like turn off everything, go to sleep. Like I might turn on something where they're playing something um, and watch that for a little while, and then go to bed. But so, yeah, I do watch. I don't watch on on Twitch, though. I mean, I have caught some streamers and I've gone on Twitch and, and, and looked, you know, and kind of watched a little bit. But I can't stay on Twitch for too long because Twitch they're, the thing I don't like about Twitch as far as their mobile app, their mobile app kind of sucks. Is It sucks that I always forget my login and then going around there, there's a lot of ads in between if you're not like a Twitch subscriber or whatever it is. Uh, there's a lot of ads between like watching somebody. It'll just cut into an ad real quick. I mean, YouTube does the same thing, but you can't skip them on Twitch. You just got to play the whole thing. And, and it also has the chat box and everything. So it's really small compared to like 
Twitch is best watched on a PC monitor. Like on a phone, it kind of sucks. I mean, you can make it bigger, but it, it, I don't know. Just on the, it's like easier to watch Twitch on YouTube, right? Or like a Twitch recording on YouTube, where I feel like Twitch is easier to watch on like a bigger monitor. Like you need a bigger screen for it. Um, I feel like it's easier if you want to watch it live. I should say if you want to watch it live, it's a little bit easier than that. But I got you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess it's the interaction, right? I mean, if you're part of, you know, there's a lot of people that tune in consecutively those people are part of the community right it, it, they build a community with that streamer right and they talk within the chat room and the streamer talks with them and they kind of it turns into a camaraderie type of thing right because when you got you know bob 69 coming into your chat for the you know five or a hundredth time right you streamed a hundred times and he's been there since day one then you're like, hey, Bob, 69, <laughs> you know, they all have stupid names, but, you know, hey, you know, and then it becomes like, you know, you start to get to know, I would imagine as, as a streamer, you would start to get to know these people and kind of interact with them more, especially if they're interactive in the chat and stuff like that. So that might be the appeal. I don't know as far as watching them live. But yeah, I usually try to catch games that, you know, I watch streamers that play games that I typically probably won't play. That makes more sense then, I guess. But yeah, I'm I'm just if I'm using something for background noise, it's typically YouTube. I've got I've got something playing over there that I'm not really halfway paying attention to. But I definitely do. It's not game game streaming or gameplay. Um, uh, sometimes I will like after a conference watch like a, a an IGN recap or something, and it's on in the background. Where I'm not really paying attention to it. But if I'm on YouTube in the work day and I'm working, I'm typically got music or something on YouTube. Not really, uh, uh, anything like that. Cause I get easily distracted and I'm like watching the content instead of doing what I'm supposed to be doing, you know? So, um, I try to only listen to music, but, and then when I'm not listening, when I'm not working, I'm playing my game. So I don't have a whole lot of time where I want to watch somebody play a game. Um, like I said, really my only, my only time of watching videos about games is if I'm like trying to, I'm stuck and I'm trying to look at a walkthrough or something or trying to trying to do all the achievements of the game. And I'm struggling with one. And I'm like, how do I do that? how did this guy do that? And I watch his videos or uh, like I said, I'm, I'm interested in a game, but I'm on the fence and let's do a, let's, let's do a let's play or what was that game? Let me find a trailer. So I use YouTube for that mostly, um, but not watching them stream. That's just not my cup of tea, but it's a, huge industry and there are people that do it and i have plenty plenty of friends who i have been around and they're doing something else and they have streamers on streaming a game they're playing or watching somebody play games so it, it's out there it's just not my cup of tea and there's nothing wrong with it you know it's just i'd rather be playing the game <laughs> so all right well nick uh what do you you know do you got anything else you want to add about this uh facebook shutting down its app it doesn't seem like it's really that big of a deal um you could still just use the regular Facebook app and not have its own standalone app. Yeah. They're just bringing them further into the metaverse. That's what they're doing. Gotcha. All right. Well, let us know what you think. Do you watch streamers on the Facebook gaming app? Are you streaming on the Facebook gaming app? Let us know. Um, you know, are you afraid you're going to be losing anything? looks like there was some streaming data that was in the app that you might have to get a hold of. But um, is there anything else that you, we're worried about um, that you're worried about losing. You know, we don't know anything about what's in the app. So let us know. Um, and as always, if you made it this far, why don't you hit that subscribe button for us? Um, and we hope you enjoyed this episode and we hope to catch you in the next one. 